Welcome back to Persona 5 Royal Part 79. In the last part, we witnessed Okumaru's Okum Okumara have a mental shutdown and he died. So yeah, there's that. Oh, what are we doing? Let's go to bed. Oh come on, I want to clean the blog. I guess it's whatever. <sighs> On your feet, inmate. Our master has an important matter to discuss with you. Heed his words well. First, I'd like to congratulate you for expelling the one proud of their greed. Or so I'd like to say, but something odd seems to have happened. I know this, of course. However, what of the general public? It seems a contingency has occurred. At this rate, your rehabilitation cannot be completed, though I doubt that will be the case. I truly look forward to seeing how you overcome this predicament. All right. We shall meet again. Time's up, inmate. Hurry up and return to your world. Is that true? Listen this time, okay? <sighs> we haven't found anything useful as evidence. I see. <sighs> We were hoping to find something more than the calling card, too. We've confirmed the victim's connection to the Phantom Thieves, at least. Thank you for your cooperation. Speaking? Huh? They found a calling card in the principal's office, too. Yes. I'm sorry to ask again, but your father hadn't said anything about the Phantom Thieves, correct? That's right. Please contact me if something catches your attention. It doesn't matter how trivial it seems. You don't have to force yourself, though. Just anything that comes to mind. The principal? No one told me about that. So basically, your group didn't go after Okumura's life. And even the death of Shujin's principal, who we found a calling card for, was the work of another. <sighs> you don't sound like you're lying. If you wanted to deceive me, you could have easily woven up a much simpler lie than this metaverse. Moreover, your account coincides with my own investigation. Is that even possible if it were made up? And I hate to admit, but... With my line of work, I know a false testimony when I hear one. Still, if you set your sights on Okumura based on my intel, it'd be before his name was even ranked. You could have ignored him and targeted some other famous person. Why would you go so far as to further investigate and pursue this criminal? Simple enough. There's still no proof that another suspect exists. That said, it's safe enough to say that you aren't the murdering type. All right. 
But with the subsequent deaths of Okumura and Shujin's principal, the public's opinion changed. Pressed to prove your innocence, your next objective was... Hmm? What's the matter? <gasps> Is it a side effect? What in the world did the police inject into you? Hey, hey, can you hear me? Hear me? You need to stay focused. <sighs> Don't scare me like that. If what you're saying is true, you must tell your side of the story to the end. We'll both be in trouble if your testimony becomes unreliable. <sighs> well then, let's move on. At last we arrive at your most recent crime. You know what I mean, don't you? This calling card was delivered to your latest target. The one you had decided would prove your innocence. It was addressed to Sai Nijima. Myself. Now, explain everything to me. With this, preparations are finally in place. The public has praised them as allies of justice before they strike them back to the ground. Now then, she'll be next. Yes, I've already spoken to Human Resources about it. It will be a heavy responsibility, but I'm certain it'd be an honor for her. The culprits behind the mental shutdown cases she's been pursuing all this time. <laughs> Indeed. They'll become the criminals we've set them up to be. Just as you instructed. It's so damn loud. Hmm? Where's Haru? She's the one that called us, so she'll show up eventually. Well, even though things have calmed down, she must be occupied with what happened to her father. Wait, what? But what's up? People are posting that we killed President Okumura! So it's begun already. What? Think about it. The CEO collapsed the way he did during an apology conference that our group caused. Still! They were raving about us so much, and now they just treat us like murderers? What a lightning fast change of attitude. They don't know a damn thing about our situation. Calm down. Not everyone is necessarily saying that. But there's no way to vindicate ourselves. <clears throat> I'm sorry I'm late. 
I'm the one who asked you all to make time for me, too. My condolences. Must be rough. I'm okay now. Um, I called everyone together because there was something worrying me. Did you all target the principal? Huh? The principal? You mean ours? Yes. What makes you say that? Yesterday, a public prosecutor came to my home. Um, it was a woman named Mijima-san. That's... I overheard her saying a calling card was found in the principal's office. Considering that this was right after what happened, it's got to be Shujin's. It's the first I've heard of it! Doesn't this all seem weird to you? It may just be my imagination, but I feel as if things are escalating far too quickly after President Okumura's incident. What do you mean? Perhaps we may have been set up by the real culprit. For real? That could be. Then we need to catch them as soon as possible. Hold a moment. Can we assume we've been set up, though? We don't even know their objective. What else are we supposed to do, then? Let's all calm down for a moment. From what Haru said, even the police are suspecting that the Phantom Thieves are murderers. It wouldn't be wise to carelessly make a move at the moment. We need to act as normal students for now. In addition, we have midterms next week. Exams? At a time like this? <sighs> I envy you, Futaba. Futaba? Hmm? Got something on my mind. Gonna go home and look into it. I wonder what that could be. At any rate, we need to behave and not draw attention to ourselves. Understood? For real?
I might actually just go into mementos <clears throat> because there's a bunch of stuff that I need to do still. Mementos makes the most sense right now, actually. It appears everyone is here. View requests. Uh, we can do that one. We can't do this one. We can do one, two, three of them. I don't see any homeless men, homeless people. Actually, great people. I don't really see any homeless people. Awesome. any homeless people hiding around here. He's hiding out in Shibuya underground. man Why? 
I don't see any homeless men, bro. Nah, I don't see anything, bro. Well, I guess we just have to go spend time with someone. Because apparently we can't go in the mementos because freaking Morgana won't let us. Dumb cats. This sucks. Are you gonna throw some at me? And dodge. Explore me, 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 me. We can't do anything. I can't talk to her. Yeah, we can talk to Makoto. Oh. What's up, babe? What will you do? Yes.
Who's in the shopping district, bro? Hey, hey! I'm sorry, but I'm terribly busy. Hi. That's what I thought. exams. What a casual episode of Persona 5. Like, wow. Well, who would have thought this episode of Persona 5 would be this casual, bro? Isn't there like a flower shop we can go? like a flower shop we can go to. What would you like? Yusuke, what's up buddy? Okay. You should be grateful. Please. A lot of money, bro. All right. Okay. You got any better protectors? The best uh, part of owning a model gun is taking it apart and performing maintenance. Huh? You change your mind or something? Okay, so I'm again. Up. 
good. Oh, what a boring episode of Persona 5. Nothing really interesting happened. Uh. Oh, shoot. Midterms, yo. Exams, bro. I forgot about the exams. Phantom Thieves have gone off the deep end, don't you think? I thought they were going to change that CEO's heart. But they ended up killing him instead. Haven't people been saying they killed Principal Kobayakawa too? I thought they were bad, but I never expected they'd turn out to be murderers. Oh man, does this mean anyone who gets targeted is screwed? Quiet down. I'll now be handing out your exam booklets. Well, show oh, shiz. Exams are going down right now, yo. I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna Google it. Wait, it's October. Yeah, it's 1017, it's October, bro. to be one color. Black and white picture.
Oh no, I heard the phantom thieves. <laughs> Charles Henry Sanson. It's a hereditary profession. Okay, class, let's get started. Slave labor. you were wondering it's just so much has happened to me lately <sighs> well perhaps I could share this with you I mean it would be nice to have someone who is aware of my current situation in life the source of my worries is my father's company dealing with the aftermath has been Difficult. Given how unexpected the accident was, my father didn't have a will. All of his stocks transferred to me. Which means suddenly, I'm the biggest shareholder in a company of over 1,000 employees. But I don't know the first thing about business direction or fund management. It is. I may be the president's daughter, but I never expected I would end up involved with company matters. Because of that, lately I've been meeting with all the various officers and lawyers my father employed. They've been giving me advice on all the things I'm not entirely sure about. Assets, stocks... It's clear some people only want to get on my good side, though. I don't know who I can trust. They try to sound comforting by saying things like, don't worry, or leave it to me. But it feels like they're really only being nice so they can get their hands on my bank account. I... I never realized I could be this distrustful of other people. Uh, I'm sorry for ranting on about this matter. I feel as though doing so has helped me calm down a bit, though. The only people I've consulted up to this point have been employees. But I think what I really needed was someone closer to my own age. Closer to my own viewpoint. Hmm. Um, if it isn't too much trouble, could we speak about this again some other time? In return, I'll... Hmm. What can I do to help you? I don't have any unique talents. How about this? You know, gardening. I'm actually quite skilled at it. A few years ago, I even managed to grow a tropical fruit on the balcony at my house. To be honest, this is what I do when I'm alone. To take my mind off of everything that's happened. <sighs> oh, that's right. 
I stored some vegetables in the refrigerator down in the home economics room. You still have some time, yes? Would you mind waiting here a moment? I grew these right here in these very planters and harvested them myself not too long ago. There's not much consistency to their colors or shapes, but... You'll find out once you eat them. <laughs> Just kidding. It's mostly normal things like tomatoes and zucchini. They're definitely unique though. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask of you. I'd like to get Sakura-san's opinion on my vegetables. Do you think I could bring my next harvest over to your cafe? <clears throat> Thank you. I'm sure Sakura-san will give me his honest opinion. I'll make sure this next harvest is particularly good. Well then, shall we head over to the hideout? Congrats on surviving midterms. <sighs> I think I'm screwed for real this time. I couldn't concentrate at all. Gathering everyone's opinions and immediately acting upon them. In order to make that natural course of action a reality, I will... <sighs> Again? It's so damn loud! More importantly, what's this you want to talk about? You said that something was on your mind before. But were you able to figure out what it was? The medjet that I banned wasn't the real one. Huh? Aren't you the real one, though? Oh, uh... The guy who called himself Medjet after me isn't the one from the other day. What do you mean? The code written by that guy the other day is different from any of the past Medjet. And... A code is like your fingerprints. No matter how you try to disguise it, your own quirks appear in it. The one from the other day was all cut and pasted with no consistency. No skill at all. But aren't there multiple people across the world that are part of Medja? Couldn't it have been done by someone that joined recently? How do I put it? That code was so not done by anyone interested in cracking. At all. At the very least, there's no way it was an official Medjet member. So, someone used the Mejed name to provoke the Phantom Thieves? For what purpose? Could they have been doing it for fun? It was around the time our group started getting popular, so maybe they wanted in on the hype. Wait a moment. What if it's the other way around? Hmm? Perhaps they used the Mejed name to make the Phantom Thieves known. What?! That makes no sense! I actually thought the same as Makoto. Why is that? Know how I just said that code is like fingerprints? I found those same fingerprints somewhere completely different. Where's that? The Phantom Aficionado website. There were traces of it being illegally tampered with from the outside. For real? Before summer vacation, the access counter was made to be much higher than the actual number. Same with the rankings. Particularly the time when President Okumura ranked first. So then, the one who provoked the group, and the one who tampered with the site, are the same person? I think I'm starting to see the big picture. Both Medjed's provocation and the tampering of the website brought attention to us as a result. On top of that, our reason for targeting Okumura was influenced by the public and the rankings. The perfect timing, and the perfect target. If both of those had been set up... It would all make sense. So the culprit was planning to put the blame on us from the start? No way! This is all hypothetical. We lack any hard evidence. But if all your deductions happen to be correct, that would mean we've been playing right into their hand for the past two months or so. We gotta be overthinking things. I mean, we're talking both the rankings and Medjet. Everyone made a big deal about it. If this was all set up... Then, what kind of guy did we make an enemy of? There's no point in getting anxious over speculation. Regardless, we'll be falsely charged at this rate, and with murder. We must overcome this. But we don't even know who we're up against. Hey, you think we're falling into another trap? 
Even at this very moment? Yeah. This doesn't mean that we've lost yet. Even if this is the actions of a meticulous enemy, we'll just have to get back at them. We need to find clues, no matter what. Me? Can you not attack you my microphone? Assignment yourself, Let go of the microphone. Someone as inexperienced as myself. When the case of the Shujin Principle was ruled a suicide, you thought to reopen it. And you proved its connection to the Phantom Thieves. This is based primarily on that achievement. I'm honored, sir. The Phantom Thieves issue is now a national crisis. Expectations are exceedingly high for us public prosecutors, as we are the executors of justice. Personnel and planning will be up to you on this case. You will also have the police under your command. I'd like you to oversee this operation. <sighs> You've yet to give an answer. Will you accept the task of eradicating the Phantom Thieves? I will give it everything I have. We'll have to prepare a higher position for you as well in the event that you succeed. I don't wish to apply extra pressure on you, but I assume your odds of success are high. Naturally, failure to accomplish this task is unacceptable. Do you understand? Of course. I will live up to your expectations no matter what it takes. That is all, then. I expect good results from you. I'm home. Hi, sis. Should I warm up dinner for you? No, it's okay. How about a bath? No need. I just came home to get a change of clothes. Are you going to stay at work then? I've been entrusted with a very important task. You look awful though. Aren't you tired? As an adult, there will be times when you will accept an assignment for which failure is not tolerated. It's all over for me if I can't win this. Still, if you were to collapse from exhaustion... This is my one chance to get a promotion. I heard detectives have been coming to your school. That must make it hard to focus on your studies. Don't worry, though. It will all be over soon. What do you mean? I'm going to catch the Phantom Thieves myself. Is that the important task you mentioned? It's none of your concern. Oh my god. Sis has her sights set on the Phantom Thieves, and on Shujin Academy in particular. <sighs> this is bad. I need to let everyone know. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Persona 5 Royal. Hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, we didn't really get into any fights or anything. I mean, it was just straightforward story. All that good stuff. But hey, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be sure to catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.